I already did start this process. Um, kind of wanted to have a feel for it before I did a video, uh, an understanding of, of how it worked. The uh, product that I'm using is the new improved Dixie Antique Browning Solution. Um, from what I'm reading and from what I'm seeing on the directions and from what I'm experiencing, um, it works really well. You just have to make sure that it's really uh, degreased. And it says that in the directions. It gives you some options for baking soda or uh, slacked lime uh, to, to degrease it. It says to put a coat on, let it set for 6 to 12 hours, and then when a rust shows up, you take steel wool and you just kind of buff it off a little bit. Now, in the old days, there was a, a lot of different ways of of doing this. Um, one of them was you put the stuff outside and peed on it until the iron rusted to the tone that you wanted. And you'd go out regularly and sand it off and clean it off and set it back up against the tree and pee on it some more. Uh, by doing this, it creates a, a rust barrier uh, that will prevent it from rusting. And you can see the color difference between the two. This hasn't been treated. And this hasn't been treated and you can already see how much duller that is and browner that is and like I just said you know um, the, the modern muzzleloaders that are out there that are being reproduced for general public sale the brass is all shiny or they might have some stainless steel acriments on them and, um, and that's pretty, I, you know, I like polished brass just as much as the next guy. Um, polished brass takes work, you got to keep it polished. And not only do you have to keep it polished, if you're looking for somewhat of a, possibly of a period correct uh, firearm, you know, it's just not there, they didn't polish their brass because it was shiny it would give away their location so way well, you can really see this butt plate now this has got two coats on it already and you don't want to sand it too hard because you'll sand the, the finish off but you want to just get that layer of rust off is all you're trying to do You know, you could buy these kits for, you know, $300 up. Uh, buy a kit like I did, it's already been attempted to build and, you know, a little cheaper. Uh, there's some companies out there that really offer some really nice kits. Um, I like this Lyman kit. Uh, my dad built a Thompson Center. Uh, really a nice rifle. But you can't find them anymore. So, to apply it, you literally just wipe it on. And let it do its thing. Make sure you got a good coverage. That's all there is to it. And let it set for, you know, it says it 
the first time is six to twelve hours and then repeated applications after that don't need to be on there as long really kind of dependent upon your schedule I've I put this on my second coat set on overnight I didn't see any sort of detrimental effect um, to what was going on. The directions say I don't need to wear gloves, uh, so I don't believe this is a caustic solution. I've had it on my skin already, it didn't bother me. Um, nothing wrong with wearing gloves if you want to, go ahead. I know a few rifle builders out there that build some really, really awesome, nice uh, rifles that are more works of art than they are <laughs> a rifle. I wouldn't mind owning one someday, but I'm not. 